Hey everybody, Johnny Seville from uh, Acorn Wealth here. We're uh, about 10 minutes away from market open, so I wanted to do a quick little video snapshot of uh, what I'm looking at today. Uh, last week and uh, for the week before, I've been talking a lot about the open range of the market and why it sets key areas of where the market can bounce. At the beginning of this month, we set an open range of 1840 up to this uh, level here at 1857 on the S&P 500. Uh, that's been the level to beat, and uh, over the following few days, we talked about the fact that the market was kind of edging up this uh, trend line resistance and likely to pull have a short term pullback. We saw that over the ne the last few days and um, yesterday Wednesday we saw that uh, come down touch on that support line and it is now looking uh, bullish or uh, forming a hammer candle. So, today I'm looking for longs and the um, the stock that came up on my list that I thought was quite interesting was Cyan Corporation. Uh, kind of very flaggy here, had a big day uh, up from 289,000 volume on Wednesday, March 5th, to 2 million volume uh, on a 19.8% rally. Uh, went straight up, pulled back, which is kind of a classic type of fl uh, flag formation as to uh, how I define it. And um, you can see that if you uh, zoom in to the hourly chart, you've got that, um, that nice break of that level. There you go, kind of there's your flagpole, looking at a break here. So it's, it had its first uh, break of that trend line resistance yesterday. And you can see the um, it uh, pumped up to about 390, started to consolidate. So what would be nice if it, if it had a little pullback to 380, uh, I might look at picking up some of, this, uh, some of this stock. But I'll be watching this carefully in the uh, opening hours, because if that continues to flag and uh, holds that support line from uh, 380 to 390, uh, this has a... Uh, um, um, the potential of going uh, up into that kind of 440 uh, area, which incidentally is also where the 100-day uh, moving average is. If you graph that up on the chart, uh, I'll just throw that up on there for you. It's not on that screen. Um, there we go, moving averages. And you'll see that pop up just around about the same price, just under that, uh, yeah, $4.38. So uh, that's one I'm looking to watch today. Now one other thing I found quite interesting about this is that if you have a quick look at uh, if you have a look at some of the insider selling here, I go to uh, Insider Cow, for example, you can see that there was actually uh, a reported payment uh, purchase uh, by one of the insiders for $335,000 worth on the uh, 4th of March by uh, one of their senior VPs. And then if you have a look at the institutional transactions, you'll actually see that there's been a significant investment into the company from their 23%, 5%, 12%, 7%, so that's 19, 24, 23. So 50% uh, ownership of the company has all purchased um, in the month of February. So there's a little e extra interesting tidbit to put in your cap. Hope it helps. Happy trading.